Okay, in this lesson, we're going to start to learn about what's called rational expressions. So let's start with kind of a pre-algebra topic, which was, what is a rational number? Okay, what is a rational number? Well, we learned in pre-algebra that a rational number is basically the quotient of two integers and the denominator is not zero. Because remember, you can never divide by zero. So as an example, okay, as an example, let's say you had one divided by three or written in fractional form as one over three, right? This is a rational number, right? One third because I have the quotient of two integers. Okay, I have one, which is an integer, over three, which is also an integer. Uh, as another example, let's say you had something like negative five divided by seven. Okay, this would also be a rational number. This would be negative five over seven like that. And then let's say something like three divided by eight. Okay, three divided by eight or three eighths. Okay, these would all be what we consider rational numbers. Now in pre-algebra, we also talked about something called an irrational number. And we're not gonna go into that today, but just basically kind of to refresh your memory on that, an irrational number is a number that cannot be formed using the quotient of two integers. So it's something like, let's say square root of five over two. That would be irrational, right? The square root of five is not an integer, okay? So something like this, square root of five over two, this right here would be called an irrational number, okay? And then all of these over here would be rational numbers. So when we talk about something called a rational expression, okay, a rational expression, basically it's a very similar concept. All it is, the only difference is, is now we're talking about the quotient of two polynomials. And again, the denominator cannot be zero because we can never divide by zero. So as an example, first let's kind of look at what your textbook's gonna show you. It's gonna show you something like this. It's gonna say, well, a rational expression is p over q, okay, where p and q are polynomials. And it's gonna tell you that q here cannot be equal to zero because obviously it's in the denominator and again, we can't divide by zero. So let's look at a couple of examples real quick of a rational expression. So let's say you had something like 3x squared over negative 5x plus 1. So this is a rational expression because it's the quotient of two polynomials, right? 3x squared is a polynomial and negative 5x plus 1, that's a polynomial as well. So that would be a rational expression. And then something like, let's say 12x squared minus 1 over negative 3x cubed plus 5x minus 2. So these would both be examples of rational expressions. Not a very difficult concept. The only thing you're looking for there, you want to check the numerator and you want to check the denominator to make sure that each is a polynomial. And as long as they're both polynomials and you have your division there, so the division of a polynomial by another polynomial, you're going to end up with what's called, again, a rational expression. 